Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at again with another video, and this time it's Cody Angeloff with 1,132 rating versus Tim DeGoat with 1,147 rating, so very close in rating, uh, both high rated, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. Uh, we're going to see Cody Angeloff win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, uh, 48 versus 60, some wild numbers. Uh, the opening hand is Foolish Burial, Black Dragon, Thunder Dragon, Allure, and Chaos Space. Holy. This hand is amazing. Like, just this by itself is, like, combo. Um, he's obviously playing, like, a weird list with, like, Thunder Dragon in it. So he's on, like, the Thunder Chaos deck. Um, then he's on Warriors. He opened up Red Lair, Gamma, Durando, Living Fossil, Nib. So he has Gamma Nib, which is very good, uh, but if this build is anything uh, like we've seen from like uh, Herman Hansen or like Dark, uh, Dark Man Alt uh, that we've seen on the channel in the last like couple of weeks, then we know that the deck can play through Gamma Nib. Uh, he's going to discard Thunder Dragon and add two Thunder Dragons. Then special summon out black by banishing white. Get rid of black to summon out striker, black, tad, white. So he's playing striker dragon just as a way to link away the black and white, I'm assuming. Uh, is why he not use striker dragon effect. Um, then chaos space, get rid of the thunder. To add the chaos creator, yeah, he's definitely on some wild deck. We've seen a lot more of these decks recently. They're really cool to watch, honestly. Banish black dragon, then chaos space. Put the black dragon to the bottom, then draws roar when he has a lure of darkness. Fair enough. Goes into Romulus, Romulus one, white dragon two. Adds black and ravine. Um. Yeah, it makes sense that he's not playing, like, the Phalanx and stuff. Uh, the extra deck can't really hold it, and you don't want to play more bricks than you're already playing. Draws Talents and Raiden, banishes Roar, and then Roar Effect to bring out Dark. Um, he still hasn't normaled. He's going to normal summon Raiden, uses the effect, mills Dark? Like, what is this? His hand was nuts. His draws have been nuts. His mills have been nuts. Activate Ravine. Ravine effect. Get rid of Thunder Dragon. Dump Galactic Spiral Dragon. I wonder what his opponent's thinking. It's like, man, when do I Gamma Nib my opponent? Foolish. Dump the Black Wing Zephros. Something that a lot of people don't know is that you can use Zephyros to go into Romulus because this doesn't just take dragons, it can also take winged beasts. Um, yeah, so that's just like another thing to note. Does not come up that often, but in a deck like this, I bet it could. Uh, goes in the Chaos Ruler, Chaos Ruler effect. That's going to uh, let him mill these. Um... So he's either going to add back the Levianir, the Emperor, or the Unizombie. These are his three options. I doubt that he goes for Unizombie unless if like he wants to like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he would summon this out. It's probably one of these. Yeah, adds uh, the Emperor... Then goes into Appaloosa. That's strong. Adds Hawk, but like we still know the Gamma Nib, so he just has to set up another interruption. Another monster negate. Banishes Light and Dark, summon the Chaos Creator, uses Emperor, adds back Levianir. Then banishes three dark, summon out Levianir, Levianir effect. Um you feel like he would chain Nib to this. Yeah, he's going to say suck. He's going to drop Nib. 
He's going to Appalooza negate and then Gamma negate the Appalooza. It's only once per chain, so he can't chain it again. If Appalooza wasn't once per chain, that would be so, so strong. Uh, so he brings out the side frame stuff, then it just gets tributed for Nib because of how the chain link was ordered. Then Levianir still resolves. Uh, hits the Durandal out of hand. Oh, that that's actually really, really good. He's going to use Talents. I was about to say, if he uses the effect to look at the opponent's hand, that's that would be crazy because he would have used two hand traps, Levianir rip a card, Talents rip a card. Uh, but he's just going to use the effect to draw. Draws Charge and Solitaire. Um, charge might just be dead. I honestly doubt that. Okay. I was going to say, I honestly doubt that he'd play two Raiden. But I guess he does. I play one Raiden and three Charge. Well, I used to in my Eldritch deck in 40 cards. It's wild. And I guess this deck... Uh, just likes Raiden more. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's going for Skull Dread plays because of how many normal summons he's playing. They're just like really good to draw when you have like Skull Dread. It's like Skull could Skull Dread could, like special this out. Or special Raiden out. Activate Ravine. Discard Solitaire. Send Saferd. Saferd add back Levianir. Special summon out Levianir by banishing three lights. He's going to get to add Matrix. I uh, already used the effect this turn. Uh, still has Emperor, banish, discard Hawk. Bring back Roar. Emperor summon itself out by banishing a light and dark. Galactic summon itself out. Then he's going to get rid of four to go in the Skull Dread. Skull Dread effect. Draws space, revolution, charge, and solitaire. Obviously, he's going to put back the Raiden because now this charge is live. Puts back all those. Um, he doesn't need the solitaire. He's probably only playing uh, one Unizombie. And we saw him mill it earlier. Uh, mills three. Mills Dark Worm and Roar off of the charge, by the way. Adds Raiden, discard Revolution to add uh, Emperor, then lose 500. And then Skull Dread effect, special summon out Raiden, Galactic effect to make his monsters level 8, summon back Chaos Ruler. Then he's going to overlay those two in the number 38. Um, gets rid of Skull Dread and Galactic for Seal. Then passes turn. So through Gamma Nib, he Levianeered, shuffled a card back, ended on seal number 38. And if you guys don't know, number 38 is pretty much going to keep seal alive here. Um, it could make Nib crash in the number 38. Draws Imperm. Yeah, he's going to admit defeat. Um... Maybe it just wasn't worth admitting defeat there because he could have gone battle phase, uh, nib attack number 38, they crash, and then uses imperm on seal, special summon red layer, living fossil, bring out gamma, and then that's needle. But he has no discard, and his opponent has a full graveyard, so yeah, he wasn't winning that. Uh, game two, we're going to see Warrior go first, but the opening hands are Ravine, Thunder Dragon Dark, Dark Ruler, Revolution, Chaos Space. It's a very, very good hand. Um, but the thing is, Warriors are just going to rip out the Dark Ruler and then set up like a negate. So he's just going to need a draw that lets him banish from the grave is really what it is. Then he has Reborn, Oliver, Connector, Fire, Fire Flint Lady, and Durandal. So this hand is just all extenders and then a starter. Normal Summon Connector effect, bring out Aqua Dolphin. Oh, I thought he was about to not use this effect. I was going to say, that's kind of wild to assume that your opponent just has no hand traps just because they're on a weird combo deck. Discards Oliver, looks at the hand. He's going to take 500, uh, brings out a sold, 
Um, also, you can't hit Revolution, even though uh, I guess it has like less than 500 or 600 in that. Um, but it's question mark, so that's not less or more than 600. That's like, it's just question mark. It's unknown. He's going to use Dark to add Dark in response to his sold out effect. Um, that's, uh, that's how you get hit by Talons. Yeah, I don't think that was smart. I think it was, like, just leave it in hand. Uh, it's worth just playing around Talons. Because Talons could just, like, rip a card out of your hand. Because he knows your hand already. So he could just use, like, Talons, rip Space out of hand, and Phase Grenade, rip Dark Ruler. Then it's like, what are you doing? Uh, he's going to bring out Gen Buff of a Soul, then goes for Link Cross, Effect, bring out Tokens. And then Synchro in the Metal, Metal bring out Gen Buff, then go into Tatsunoko. Then he's going to go into Needle, surprised he didn't just go into like Savage. Needle bring out Jet, I guess he doesn't have to do it right now because he knows his opponent doesn't have any interruptions, so he can get a Link 3 under it. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast effect, bring out tokens, and then effect, tribute 2, bring out O-Lion, then go for Roland, so he's going to end on uh, Charles, Savage, Herald, Roland effect, and token, off of O-Lion, uh, banish 2, add back blade, then synchros into Omega, synchros into Savage, Savage effect to equip the Mechum Phantom Beast. Discard Blade, bring out Jet. And then goes into Charles. Omega, put back Dark. He's going to use Reborn. Bring back Omega. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Omega effect to rip a card from hand. Oh, he hits Dark Ruler. Um... I mean, hitting, like, anything in that hand besides, like, Dark or Ravine was just really good. So hitting Revolution, Space, or Dark Ruler was just nuts. It's, like, 60% chance that Omega was good there. Uh, Durandal, add Renaud. Then Special Summon Renaud. Renaud Effect, add back Durandal. Then he's going to Sink in the Herald. Banish two warriors, add back blade, Oliver equipped the Charles, and Face is gonna be able to add Gear Freed and Dump. Or I was gonna say he's gonna dump an equip spell. Um I guess he just like forgot to do that. Uh I guess it, it won't really matter. Uh, then he's gonna get the equip OG to Charles and then it's gonna pop the smoke, rip the ravine out of hand, draws lightning storm. It's gonna lightning storm, savage negate. Um, he's gonna leave Harold where it is to stop chaos space from being able to activate. It's gonna use revolution. That's gonna add the chaos emperor. And then he's just gonna admit the fee. He can't use chaos space. He doesn't. He doesn't have anything there. Uh, moving on to game three. Again, we're gonna see Thunder Dragons go first. The opening hand is Ravine, Thunder Dragon, Talents, Terraforming, and Zephyros. I'm guessing the only target for Terraforming is Ravine, unless if there's just some like other wild field spell that he's playing. Uh, like it wouldn't be like midfield breaker because terraforming just doesn't work with that. Then he has connector, gamma, red layer, gear freed, red layer. So he has a very very strong hand trap. Uh, and then the rest of his hand is average, not very, not very bad, but not very good at the same time. It is combo, but not through like one interruption. Um, well one strong interruption. Thunder Dragon's gonna add two copies of itself. I guess those could just be like the free discards for the Ravines. Or Zephyros. You could trigger Ravine three times here. Ravine, discard Thunder Dragon, 
to send dark room and then dark room summon itself normal summon zephyros overlay in the number 60 this is wild um did not expect that to be honest he's thinking he's gonna let that go through draws danger jack and dark that's pretty good um, discards the dark off the number 60 effect. Set talents. Uses jack effect. Um, and then that's going to hit the jackalobe. And then he's going to use that effect. That's going to let him special summon out Mothman. Is he just going for like more rank 4s? There's just no way that his deck plays this many rank 4s. Zephyros summon itself by bouncing Mothman to hand. He really is just going for another rank 4. Why else would he summon out Mothman off Jackalow when he could have summoned out like Nessie? When Nessie's hand effect is just safer. He's using Mothman. Um, he hits the Thunder Dragon. Oh, that was so risky. Draws Chaos, Valkyrie... Uh, Banish Dark, Special Summon Chaos, and then Dark to Ad Hoc. He's just gonna link in the Skull Dread. So maybe his initial play was to go into another rank 4, but then he drew an Extender. I still think that's weird how he just didn't add Nessie. Because if it felt like that if Mothman got hit there, that he just would not have like any plays. And that he would just lose the Gamma. Uh, summon Skull Dread is going to use the effect to try to draw, gets hit with Gamma, uh, but now he's going to be with a Talons. Draws Revolution and another Chaos Valkyrie. Um, the Revolution is not bad here. He's not in like a horrible situation at all. He's going to use the Revolution, add Chaos Emperor. And then gets rid of Ravine for Ravine. Then uses Ravine Effect. Uh, discard Armageddon to dump Saferd. And then Saferd Effect to add back Armageddon. Uh, activate Armageddon. Pay 1000 to add back Saferd. Then Armageddon summon itself back out by banishing a light and dark. Hawk effect, bring out dark. Then he's going to link those two off in the Anaconda. So is he just going to end on... Uh, well, I guess he could go for Red Eyes or Thunder. Yeah. The Thunder Dragon fusion play in this deck just seems so weak, though. Because, like... I don't know. There's just, like, no pops right here sometimes when it like it has its pop it's cool but draws dolphin why does everyone draw dolphin when they have connector happens so often um special summon out red layer normal summon out connector yeah cody's just gonna admit defeat because he has no interruptions and that's just full combo uh, i guess there's just no point of like wasting time if you're him um, well that sucks that like the Gamma just stopped the Skull Dread draw for This uh, this list is kind of weird though. Did not expect the number 60. That, that definitely caught me off guard. Um, but just seeing like Thunder Dragon decks like this are really cool. Um, since like the meta right now, it's combo is kind of, uh, boring just cause like how long we've had it. Our deck like Infernoble where it's barely been in the format for like a month, but it's combo is just like so repetitive that it's just like not that fun to play compared to a deck like this. Uh, but that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace.